Hi there, welcome back. We're going to do episode number four of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's called The Warriors of Kaioshi. Um, yeah, the last episode was uh, the Southern Air Temple. Yeah, so we visited his old home um, and discovered that everyone's dead. What else happened in that episode? Oh, oh they found a like a new member of the team. Uh, is it Alima? I think so. Um, I think they, they joined their group now. And, um, oh, uh, the prince had a fight with the master and won. And the master tried to do him dirty behind his back, didn't he? But, yeah, he wasn't happy about that, was he? But, yeah, he won. And all of the firebenders now, I think, know about Ang because didn't he set off his, what they call it, spirit or something? I don't know when he got like angry or emotional and it triggered a load of other stuff, didn't it? I can't remember that. It's, it's about a month ago I saw that now, so... But it'll come flooding back to me, I'm sure. If I've got some of that wrong, I apologise. But yeah, episode number four, The Warriors of Kaioshi. If I've got that right. Yeah, so let's get to it. I'm wondering if Kaioshi's where the waterbenders are. Whatever you have to say, I'm sure I can take it. Okay, then. We have no idea where he is. What? <laughs> totally kept this cool. Give me the map. <laughs> He's got some quips, this fella, hasn't he? This old guy. He is clearly a master of evasive maneuvering. Hmm? You have no idea where you're going, do you? <laughs> well, I know it's near water. You need to give girls space when they do their sewing. What does me being a girl have to do with sewing? Simple. Girls are better at fixing pants than guys, and guys are better at hunting and fighting and stuff like that. Not in your case. Relax, Sokka. Where we're going, you won't need any pants. Okay. It's this nudist colony. That's what was that? Here. Some kind of weird koi. whale. And I'm gonna ride it. Elephant koi, did he call it? It's a giant koi. <laughs> he likes riding animals, this kid, doesn't he? Don't eat that. <laughs> what is it with that green man? Like he just learned to smile or something. There's something in the water. That koi just got eaten. Oh. What is this? <laughs> He's running on the water. I'm to hit the road. Oh. oh, these will be the warriors, I guess. Ryoshi was it? Ryoshi. <laughs> or we could stay a while. <laughs> they did what the firebenders couldn't. You three have some explaining to do. It's for riding the koi. Is it like sacred to them or something? Where are the men who ambushed us? There were no men. We ambushed you. Now tell no us, women. who are you and what are you doing here? There's no way a bunch of girls took us down. A bunch of girls, huh? The Unagi's gonna eat well tonight. No, he never learns, does he? He didn't mean it. My brother's just Sucker. an idiot sometimes. Sometimes. This island is named for Kiyoshi? I know Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. <laughs> How could you possibly know her? Oh, he remembers. Avatar Kyoshi was born here 400 years ago. Very possible he knows her. I'm the Avatar. That's impossible. The last Avatar was an airbender who disappeared 100 years ago. Demonstrate it. Hang, do some airbending. <laughs> yeah. Now, check this out. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Spreading fast. The avatars on Kyoshi oh. <laughs> Island. Uncle, ready the rhinos. How small is this world, by the way? Damn fishermen. Never keep their traps shut. He's getting a good grooming. He's just upset because a bunch of girls kicked his butt yesterday. <laughs> oh, God, they come on, mate. On me. Right. Give it a... And then they kicked your butt. <laughs> I'm not scared of any girls. Who do they think they are, anyway? <laughs> it's risky for us to stay in one place for very long. I'm sure we'll be fine. No, is that the lemur? <laughs> I'm just a simple monk. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Beatles now. Oh, there's another one. Well, uh, made an adjustment here and... <laughs> Can't stand still for one second. <laughs> That's some strong lungs. Seriously, get over it. It's fine. They're warriors. I was just looking for somewhere to get a little workout. They're gonna beat him up. <laughs> a big, strong man like you? We <laughs> wouldn't stand a chance. True, but don't feel bad. After all, I'm the best warrior in my village. No, oh, yeah. 
You're insistent better than you. This may be a little tough, but I'm try here. to block me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they were gonna beat him up. He's a dance class. <laughs> Anything else you wanna teach us? <laughs> Take one of them. <laughs> Excuse me for a second, ladies. Why don't you come with us? It'll be fun. Watching you show off for a bunch of girls. Oh, is she jealous? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something I really like about <laughs> this place. <laughs> What's taking you so long, Angie? Angie. Angie. Just a second, Coco. Simple monk, huh? I thought you promised me this avatar stuff wouldn't go to your head. You just don't want to come because you're jealous. Jealous? Of what? I think she might be. Uh... Hey, Suki. You're gonna ask her to teach him some moves. What do you want? I would I'm be honored sneeze. if you would teach me. <laughs> Even if I'm a girl, we normally don't teach outsiders, let alone boys. Please make an exception. I won't let you down. <laughs> Change this tune. You have to follow all of our traditions. Of course. And I mean all of them. Wait, what? Gender reassignment. <laughs> Feels a little girly. <laughs> warrior's uniform. Bravery and honor. Hey, Wait until Kata sees him. Nice dress. Katara, sorry. <laughs> Put Kata on the brain. Um, the World Cup's on at the moment. Katara. I'm gonna go ride it now. It's gonna be real dangerous. Good for you. Great. I know it's great. Oh, I'm glad you know. I'm glad you're glad. Good. <laughs> Fine. I think I'm starting to get it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> hmm. I fell on purpose. He's happy with that. Feel better. I got you. <laughs> it, I got you. Okay. It was a lucky shot. He just can't keep his trap shot, can he? He never learns. I'm sure it'll be here any second. Um, what about this? I've seen it Not already, kid. <laughs> Boring. Don't leave. Sorry, Ang. <laughs> Yesterday's time. news, Ang. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> I did let all that attention go to my head. I was being. Oh, now they've ditched you. Well, get out of the water before you catch a cold, you big jerk. <laughs> that was gonna end? Huh. Well, they're gonna cliffhanger us for a second. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's swing into the jaws. Hang on, eh? I don't think he's trying to. At least he wasn't sucker this time. <laughs> he's got no quitting in this thing. Oh, she's gonna use it. She's been practicing on the smaller scale, but that seemed to work. Oh. One thing after another. But they're quick, didn't they? Are these warriors gonna help fend these off? Oh. Not fun. <laughs> Quite handy that skill, isn't it? Firebenders have landed on our shores. Girls, come quickly. Yeah, hey, they're gonna fight them, aren't they? Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's like a western. You're for it, boys. <laughs> These girls can fight. Is Saka gonna help? Is he gonna join in? Yeah, he's safe. Yeah. Oh my god, what are they gonna do to him? Finally. He can save himself, this kid. I feel like they'd just be absolutely no match for him whatsoever. Mind you, he does only have the one, on land at least, the one skill, as they do. But is he like super good at it because he's the avatar? These people got their town destroyed trying to protect me. Then let's get out of here. Yeah, you little Zuko warmonger. <laughs> Kiyoshi to follow us. I treated you like a girl when I should have treated you like a warrior. I am a warrior. Yeah, she had some growth. Oh, hello. But I'm a girl too. <laughs> He's blushing. Now get out of here. We'll hold them off. That's some rouge with that. Get up. <laughs> Zuko would have destroyed the whole place if we stayed. They're gonna be okay, Aang. I feel like they would anyway because they were kind of harboring them, weren't what they? Oh, What's his plan here? What is he gonna? Oh, Jesus Christ! He's putting out the fire. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose if they wet, they can't use their fire skill. I guess. Don't you? Thank you, Avatar. I don't think they would just leave and let them be. They'd probably burn the place down, wouldn't they? Before leaving. <sighs> <laughs> hmm? 
Yeah, that was a good one. That was fun. Not a lot happened in terms of... Um, yeah, I thought they were going to make it to the, the North Pole for their training, their water training, but yeah, that didn't happen. We're still on the journey, and yeah, the pit stop went wrong. <laughs> um, oh, did it though? He kind of... He got some training, didn't he, the brother? I've got a feeling, you know, this brother's got more to him than just being a goof. I don't know. It feels that way. It feels like he may have his own... Yeah, power, whether that's water bending that he doesn't know about or something else. I feel like he might be needed at some point. I mean, he's been trained now, but there wasn't much training, was it? I was going to say, I wonder now whether he's going to treat his sister a bit better now that he's had a positive experience with a girl. But yeah, I can't see it happening, honestly. I think he's going to go straight back to being a, a little misogynist um, brother, really. I felt like an ass kicking might kind of kick him into shape, but can't see it happening somehow. Maybe we'll see her again. That was kind of a love interest, wasn't it, for him? We'll probably see her again at some point. <laughs> the way he blushed, that was funny. I guess his attitude to his sister is kind of partly to do with the fact that she has the water bending and he doesn't. So he's probably jealous of her deep down, isn't he? That's probably what it is. So he treats her the way he does because of that, probably. I feel like he's going to change his attitude at some point, though. I thought maybe that would help towards that, but I'm not so sure that's enough. I think something else is going to have to happen. Maybe she's going to have to save his life or something. Maybe that will help him get over the fact that his sister's a better fighter than he is, purely because of the water bending, right? But actually, probably not even just because of that. She probably just is, because he is kind of goofy, isn't he? He's useless, but... Although he did quite well after being trained, didn't he? But yeah, they can find them pretty quick, can't they? I mean... A series of, you know, rumours going around and the, the fishermen and the delivery of the fish and it got back to them. So although he's going to be a kind of elusive, at the same time, they they need to watch it, don't they? Because, yeah, wherever he shows up, like she said, they can't stay there too long. Wherever he shows up, he's going to be talk of the town, isn't he? So the only way he's going to avoid that is not to reveal his identity. But he was forced into it, wasn't he? So he couldn't do anything about it this time. So he needs to be careful not to get captured again because, yeah, he'll probably have to use his powers or tell them again to be released. But it's quite fortunate that where they dropped up, they, they weren't, they're not involved in the war, right? So, yeah, that was quite fortunate. It could have been anywhere, I guess. So they didn't even know where that place was. Yeah, so they need to watch it. They need to study that map a bit more and try and figure out who's friendly and who's not. They were just lucky this time, I think, but... Yeah, so as long as they don't kind of reveal who he is and tell everyone, then yeah, I guess they, you know, they'll make it to the North Pole. I wonder if this whole book one first series season is to do with the journey to the North Pole. It seems like it might be because that's two episodes now. So maybe at the end we'll finally get there and then it will set it up for season two, maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. I wonder how many episodes there are, actually. I don't think I've even looked. I don't think there are that many I may have looked, I've got a few, oh, there are, oh, wow, wow, it's 20 in this first season, okay, I did. <laughs> I was totally wrong, I didn't know that, the next one's called um, The King of Omashu, I'm probably getting these names wrong, the place names wrong, I think I've got this one slightly wrong, but I was close enough, so that again sounds like another, they're meeting another person, a king this time, so yeah, it sounds like another part of the journey, I guess, I'm tempted to look ahead to see if there's a title that says, you know, that gives away the fact that they made it to the North Pole, but I'm not going to. I'd like to be surprised. But yeah, thanks for watching. I enjoyed it. It was another good one. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of episodes as well, as it turned out. But that's good because I have fun watching this show. I always do so far. Of the four I've seen so far, they've all been fun. So yeah, hopefully you'll join me for episode number five. See you then. See ya. Bye.